the main aim of this chapter is to learn the python programming primitives like data types creating variables writing arithmetic expressions simple expressions and also to understand the basic python built in functions after completion of this chapter the learner will be able to explain the role of data types expressions variables and the use of built in functions with suitable python scripts and also the students will be able to demonstrate the simple programs involving arithmetic expressions concatenation and replications of strings with the python ideally in this video let us learn the python's integrated development and learning environment called ideally ideally has an interactive shell which facilitates the programmer to enter the valid expressions expressions are the basic building blocks of python programming language let us learn the data types that are supported in python programming language first we learn to use the ideally the python's integrated development and learning environment this ideally facilitates the programmer to type the python script and at the same time the programmer can execute the script to use this ideally on windows open the start menu and find select all programs and under the menu all programs find uh, the sub menu python with the version 3.6 or 3.8 or any version that's being found in the system and then select ideally which is a python gui based console or shell python interactive shell and once you choose this ideally python gui a window will appear with three greater than symbols which is actually a python interactive shell let's take an example of a writing a simple python script i mean an expression with the help of ideally so this portion represents the version of python that is being installed in the system and the programmer can type the expression or any a valid python script just after this three greater than symbols this is actually a python interactive shell prompt and after typing this expression you press enter you will get the result of that expression likewise we can write other expressions too even involving literals or a variables let us have a demonstration of uh, ideally to launch the ideally open start menu locate 
कि पाइथन थ्री पॉइंट एट हियर एंड चूज आईडीएल आईडीएल हियर वी हैव पाइथन थ्री पॉइंट एट the runtime environment click on that we get python 3.8 interactive shell now write the expression for example write 2 plus 2 we have a result 4 and you can even write the expression involving the assignments write a equal to 2 and you can display the value of a by just typing the variable name that is a you can even write the complex arithmetic expressions like like this 2 plus minus 2 or it's zero it means 2 plus of minus 2 that's zero let me define one more variable b b equal to let us say 5 and you can write the expression involving the variables to a plus b which results in 7 you can also assign the expression to another variable like c is equal to a plus b. A plus B, and you can also print value of C. This is how the beginner can use this ideally to understand the Python primitives. Expressions in Python. expression is the basic programming instruction in different programming languages expression consists of literals or values such as to or a character and the operators such as plus minus and so on and they always evaluate down to a single value in python we have six seven basic mathematical operators first is exponent double star and we have a percent sign this is modulus operator this is double slash integer division the single slash division this is floating point division star this is multiplication operator minus subtraction and plus addition let's take up the examples 2 double star 3 is nothing but 2 to the power 3 that is evaluates down to 8 22 mod 8 we get remainder after integer division that is 6 remainder what we get after integer division is 6 and this is integer division floored quotient we get the quotient after integer division 22 double slash 8 the quotient is 2 and this is floating point division we get the value 2.75 
this is multiplication it results in 15 and 5 minus 2 that is 3 and addition with the results in value 4 the order of evaluation of expression that is also called as a precedence in Python is similar to that of mathematics it means that the exponentiation operator is evaluated first followed by multiplication floating point division and uh, integer division as well as modulus operator are evaluated next followed by the addition and subtraction operators and the associativity of these operator is, operators is from left to right you can also use parenthesis to override the usual precedence of uh, operators in the expressions let's take up the example if we type an expression like this 2 plus 3 star 6 in this multiplication operator has the higher precedence over the addition thus this is evaluated first 3 into 6 18 and then 18 is added to 2 results in 20 you can also multiply large numbers it is possible you will get large integer number like this and uh, programmer also can use the parenthesis to alter the usual precedence and the evaluation order of this expression is first 7 plus 1 is evaluated innermost two, nested parenthesis 8 divided by 2 3 minus 1 is evaluated next second innermost parenthesis nested parenthesis this is evaluated first followed by this 8 by 2 and then the outer parenthesis is evaluated expression enclosed within this parenthesis 8 by 2 2 that is 4 and then this expression is evaluated 5 minus 1 4 and this is multiplied we'll get the value 4 into 4.0 this expression results in a value 4.0 as we have a floating point division even though this results in integer value the result of this operation is floating point this is 4.0 4.0 into 4 again it is 16.0 floating point data types data type is a category for values and every value belongs to exactly one data type in python we have three common data types first is integer second floating point number third is string we have number of examples which represent the valid integers here positive and negative integers positive and negative floating point numbers and valid strings the values minus 2 and 30 for example are integer values which indicate that the values are whole numbers similarly numbers with decimal point are considered as floating point numbers for example 3.14 is a floating point number note that if you represent a whole number with a decimal point for example 42 as 
then 42.0 is also considered as a floating point number. The programmers can also have text values called strings that is sequence of characters to represent strings surround the strings that is sequence of characters with single quote characters which indicate that the string begins at the first quote and ends at the second quote. Note that even double quote is also allowed instead of single quote. A string with no characters in it is also called as blank string. Let us take up a simple example. Hello world. Here we have only one opening single quote no ending single quote this this is an invalid representation of a string second example this is valid because string begins and ends with the double quotes this is third example which, which is invalid the string is enclosed with double quote and at the end it is enclosed with single quote again it's a invalid representation let us summarize the discussion the python's integrated development and learning environment facilitates the programmer to write and execute simple python scripts the expression in python consists of operators and operands and operands are of different types integer floating point or even strings with the constants or a literals